I live by the river near its source. While you recite for this to turn its course, we drink from the same river, and our love runs on forever and ever. Hello, my friends. Greeting to you all. Now you are watching Lansan Mekong River. Enjoy the colorful Yunnan Spring Festival Cultural Exchange Activity of Lansan Mekong Country is sponsored by the Information Office of the People's Government of Yunnan Province. The webcast is simultaneously on multimedia platforms at home and abroad. Today, we invite friends from all over the world to watch this online special spring festival program and follow the footsteps of three young men to enjoy the feast of New Year culture, compressed by beautiful China, colorful Yunnan, and five Mekong River countries. Look at it in the further south of colorful clouds. Yunnan is an auspicious place. When we talk about Yunnan, we are talking about the kingdom, animals, and plants, the pictures of land, and the built-up way of living. When we talk about Yunnan, we are talking more about the people of all ethnic groups living on this land. Their heavenly music and graceful dance, and about how they forge ahead and chase their dreams. But when it comes to the exchanges between Yunnan and five Mekong Basin countries, we have to mention the Lanshan Mekong River, which connects the blood and culture of the six countries of the world. My friends from Thailand, from five countries around the Mekong River, and from all of the world, I'm June. When the Spring Festival is coming around the corner, my friends Hank, Annie, and I will come along the Mekong River to Diqing, Hengchong, and Xichuan, Vietnam, to see how everybody celebrates the coming New Year. As the seventh longest river in the world. The third longest in Asia, and the longest in Southeast Asia, the Lantong Mekong River originates from the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, and the section within China is called the Lantong River. Within one and a half hours away from Kunming, the capital of the Yunnan Province, we got to our first stop. The Diqing Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. We are greeted by the gorgeous snow-capped mountains, valley, lakes, and wetlands. Seventy years ago, there were no roads here, but today, expressway extending in all directions. Shangri-La Stream is approaching us faster than ever. Transportation is becoming more and more convenient. High-speed rail is expected to be put into operation in this year. In Shangri-La, what a person can see in Meili Snow Mountain depends on fate. If you can see the golden mountains of sunshine. The simultaneous shine of the sun and the moon, or the sunset of maybe, for the local Tibetans, they will feel lucky for the rest of the year. The Kawakarpo Peak of Meili Snow Mountains altitude is 6,740 meters above sea level. It is the highest mountain in the Lantang Mekong River Basin. It is still the virgin peak that no one has reached its summit, and may never reach the summit. 
Look at Tibetan's Kokawa Karpo pig, Ani Kawakarpo. Ani means grandfather. He's very sacred and kind. In the southern part of Shangri-La city, there is a village surrounded by mountains and rivers, covered in lush green. Call it Nice Village, which means New Holy Land in Tibetan. Today, I came to the local Nice Village. As you can see, that the village is already lively. The main ethnic groups living here are Tibetan and bi-ethnic. They are preparing for the coming New Year. Besides, they have their own customers in Spring Festival. I can't wait to attend this spectacular banquet any longer. Let's see how they celebrate it. We're in Nibu's house now. <laughs> we just saw that there were many electrical appliances like the television and the refrigerator. Life is becoming more and more convenient. Now, I'm already put on the traditional clothes. I'm gonna share the reunion dinner with the locals. Hello, 这个呢就是今天的主食就是火锅 The villager just told me this is highland barley surface and this is traditional Tibetan pork and this is butter tea this is naija it's a little bit like cheese and this is traditional Tibetan hot pot every spring festival they will eat it together to share happiness Biqing Prefecture is the only Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture in Yunnan. In addition to the Tibetans, the prefecture also holds 24 other ethnic minorities, including Li Su, Na Xi, Bai, and Yi. Biqing Prefecture is not only a place for the inheritance of Tibetan culture, but also a demonstration area for ethnic unity and progress. The Mekong River forgets a strong bond around the nations around it. In the past years, we joined our hands to fight the pandemic. Now, in the new year, let's raise our glasses to hope that the pandemic will be over soon. Friends from Thailand, from five countries around the Mekong River, and from all over the world, we wish you happy Spring Festival. My heart is filled up with festive spring festival couplets and uh on dancing. Villagers always celebrate their happy lives with dancing. Every ethnic group works together to strive for a relatively comfortable life. Let's dance.
friends of my country, friends from all over the world. I'm Hank. Along the line, Lantan River, Megong River Basin, I have come to Smola Village, Zhongzhai Township, Tenchong City, Yunnan Province. Smola, what language means the site of happiness? Tenchong is located in the southwestern part of Yunnan Province. It is the first important gateway and node on land transportation to South Asia and Southeast Asia in China. The minority of Hua has lived in Tenchong for generations, are also known as Third Guardian. Since ancient times, they have been helping each other with neighboring minorities and have formed unicorn fox custom. This is to be very populous. With help of poverty elevation, policy and joint effort of many parties, the valleys become more and more rich. These days, Smolna has become a whole tribal destination, attracted by its reputation. Tourists around the world are coming to this wild village. Well, they beat a wooden drum three times to get a taste of the life in which rice baba also tastes sweet. Smola has history more than 500 years, thanks to the continued exploration and the practice of free mountain and clear water, are equal to mountains of gold and silver important ideas. He is surrounded by green mountain, clear water, fresh air, and beautiful environment. It's so pity that you can see this, but you can scan the scout to see the VR scenery. Smola's good environment is just a microcosm of the beautiful Tenchong. It is located in the middle part of Yunnan in the Lantang River Basin. Tenchong has a superior ecological environment with an average annual rainfall of 1531 mm, an annual average temperature of 15.1 Celsius, and a forest coverage rate of 33%. There are 455 square kilometers of the land, with the National Nature Protected Area of various kinds. The Beihai Wetland is one of the first three of the main national wetlands announced by the country. The Gaoligou Mountain that traverses through the whole wetland is also called the King Bank of Species. It is a home for 4,203 known seed plants and 582 vertebrates. This entire area is also listed as a Biodiversity Protection Circle by UNESCO and an A-Level Protected Area by World Wildlife Fund. The beautiful scenery on the way into the village is really refreshing. And the war exhibition hall can give people a different feeling. War is an ancient nation from primitive society. The war king was the leader of the UWSA. The exhibition hall was once the residence of war people, beautiful war king in Zhongzhai. War village is a trickling context in Qingshui culture, coexisting in the interwing roots of ancient trees stretching in the crops throughout four seasons and passing down to generations of simple and sincere people. During the course of the long history, after the ancestors of Wa ethnic group moved into the Qingshui Township area, they have lived and worked with the local Han peacefully, forming the current Zhongzhai. Wow, it's so exciting! Some of the wooden drums accompanied by the incidental dance of war people the same become more and more lively. It is said that the wooden draw as a symbol of ethnic group, only the traditional festival and the important activity can be used. Now the war people dance and drum in the village to celebrate the spring festival. So busy, I haven't come down from the joyful dance here. 
Look at this red decoration is high up again. Let's go and have a look. On the occasion of bidding farewell to the old and welcoming the new, hang lanterns and pasting spring festival couplets are traditional costume here. Now the whole village is decorated with colored lanterns, and every household is busy putting up spring festival couplets and high lanterns to welcome the arrival of the Lunar New Year with a brand new appearance. Now the village brand secretary and his children are hang lantern. Hang lantern is Chinese traditional culture. But what does it mean? It means luck and blessing. Look. It's getting more and more lantern everywhere. We'll talk about Chinese New Year, at least not the food, of course. But do you know what special food is here? Let's go and seek out. Now we are on our way to eat something called rice baba. When you come to Chong, when you come to Lava Village, it is a special food you should seek out. Now we are arrived at Li Fashun, Mr. Li Fashun's home, and we look out. Li Fashun was disabled due to a car accident, so he made a rice cake at home and sold them not only to the villagers, but also to the increasing tourists. They beat the steamed rice into the rice noodle with a rice beater, kneaded it into round rice balls on a long table, pressed the rice balls on the printing mold, and immediately they made them into round cakes called rice baba. Some of them are printed with the Chinese word fu, meaning blessings, and some with xi, meaning happiness. Some may be printed with plum blossom curtains, which are not only beautiful but delicious. Look at this baba, this is Janet news. When it is, you can uh, add some um, condiments sauce. Now we'll try some. Almost like play doh text to eat. That's really gummy. But I love it. What Chinese people look forward to the most in Spring Festival is to have a family reunion dinner, which means a year separation and reunion. This is our farmhouse dishes made from local ingredients. Porridge of wild bamboo tumid, cold beef tendon, shredded dry peas, native chicken soup. Dishes of ethnic war specialties bring people together who have been hard working throughout the whole year. Family members respect and love each other, chanting their story full of happiness. It's getting dark, however, the warm weather is brightly lit. The sound of firecrackers is accompanied by happy and cheerful laughter, a drawing though of ecologically livable. To the light and prosperous ruler, the vitalization is slowly unfolding. In the near future, the happy smaller will be much happier. Hello everyone, I'm Annie. I've now arrived in Xishang Batna, an autonomous prefecture of Dai nationality in Yunnan province. This is a place where Lan Changjiang travels out of China and reaches Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Myanmar, getting its another name, Mekong River. <laughs> What just happened was a welcome ceremony. The villagers sprinkled water onto my body while performing traditional musical instruments and dance. They told me that in the culture of Dai nationality, water is holy and pure, representing good wishes. People here celebrate the water sprinkling festival as a new year in Dai calendar, which is normally in April of solar calendar. 
This custom is the same in many Southeast Asian countries, such as Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Laos. Since Bat Na locates in the subtropical zone, which shapes the unique, pleasant weather here, I can feel the air is quite humid. This is not simply because we're close to Lantangjiang, but mainly due to the vast tropical rainforest here. It also gives Bat Na the title of the Kingdom of Tropical Animals and Plants. To be honest, I feel a little bit hot. Wandering in the village, I find all the constructions here are made of bamboo and wood, with normally two stories. People live on the second floor. It can keep cool in hot weather. The simple structure makes it convenient and comfortable enough for the people living inside. There's no doubt that people who designed such architecture must be fairly smart. Due to the special geographic position of Bat Na, nights here usually come really late. So even though it is still really bright, the villagers have already started preparing our dinner. Let's join them in this beautiful Dai costume. It is hot in Xishuang Bat Na all year round, and the average temperature in summer even is above 30 Celsius degrees. In such hot weather, spicy and sour food is favored by locals and foreign tourists. Eating sour food has become the eating habit of the Dai people. It is a unique and distinctive feature of the Dai cuisine. Wrapped roasting is a special cooking method of the Dai people in Xishuang Bat Na. Instead of using pots and pans, they take natural green leaves, Japanese banana leaves, as a cooking tool. The marinated food is wrapped in it and then cooked on charcoal fire. The cooked food has a flavor of the condiments and the fragrance of the leaves. It is fresh, fragrant, sour and spicy with a very rich taste. The eating habit of the Dai people has many similarities with that in Southeast Asian countries. They prefer pickled vegetables and bamboo shoots. They also like to use tropical wild herbs, exotic fruits and river algae as ingredients. These dishes offer tourists a fresh tasting experience. Dai people eat rice in their staple food. Dai people in Xishuang Bat Na prefer glutinous rice. The pineapple rice consisted in the Dai flavored platter we are going to eat today is made from the glutinous rice. The pre-washed Japanese banana leaves are used as a plate. People put the prepared dishes on it. Meat and vegetables are matched and placed on the side of the plate to form a perfect circle. To be honest, it looks awesome. From its appearance, I can even imagine how delicious it will taste. 祝大家新春快乐！早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，早安，
It takes many days to taste them all. In addition to gourmet food, when you wander in the Starlight Night Market, the exquisite architecture of Southeast Asia will also give you the illusion of being in a foreign country. The cultures of various countries and nationalities exchange and blend with each other, making the Starlight Night Market a place featuring cultures of the six countries along Lantang and Mekong. Look what I have found in the night market. It's a hand-carved soap from Thailand. I really want to know how to make it. Let me give it a try. In Thai, I only know one sentence. So I did have. So why not ask this beautiful lady to teach us a few other phrases like Happy New Year? 小姐姐，新年快乐怎么说呀？สวัสดีปีใหม。สวัสดีปีใหม。那祝大家万事如意呢？ขอให้มีความสุขขอให้มีความสุข。那我们一起对着镜头来说一下吧。OK, three, two, one. สวัสดีปีใหม。ขอให้มีความสุข。
the six countries become attached by water, and the Lantan Mekon Cooperation is flourished because of water. In 2016, the first Lantan Mekon Cooperation (LMC) leaders meeting launched the Lantan to Mekon Cooperation mechanism in all respects. Over the past five years. The Lantan Mekong cooperation has become a beautiful landscape of sub-regional cooperation worldwide. For beautiful China, colorful Yunnan, and the people of various countries along the Lantan Mekong River, it's not an abstract word that is out of reach, but it's tangible and visible change by their sight. From a bowl of fragrant rice on the dinner table to a bunch of rose given to the loved one. From constantly improving transportation facilities such as highways, railways, and airlines to readily available exotic travels. From the annual expanding of import and export trade volume to the increasingly convenient financial settlement, from various forms and exhibitions to joint law enforcement against cross-border crimes, the Lantan Mekong life is being enriched and benefiting the daily life of people in various countries. As the earliest among Chinese province to participate in Mekong sub-regional cooperation, Yunnan is bordered by the land of Vietnam, Laos, and Myanmar, and is adjacent to Thailand and Cambodia. It has a border line of more than 4,000 kilometers long. It has open 19 state-level ports and six provincial-level ports. It enjoys geographical advantages and good people-to-people -people relations in promoting cooperation with the five Mekong River countries. Looking ahead, beautiful China, colorful Yunnan will continue to deepen its cooperation with five Mekong River countries. Advanced construction of the Belt and Road Initiative. In all directions, surf the waves of the Lantan Mekong River and set out for a new journey in the new era.